life be like. showing y'all a few things about how students go down out here, how they drive their cars, what they do with their cars, just things like that. We're going to start right here with these nice parking examples and see how you got your nice car right here parked to a little bit less lesser quality car right here. And you see how the parking job of this car, which is not A class by any means, influences the parking job of this car to be also not a class <laughs> go well as you see here these are my two bmw x5s and i like to drive these around i have two because who knows when i'll need two cars that are the exact same and i like to keep them very clean as you reginald Red, what is this <laughs> What? I told what? you to clean this three months ago. Oh, I am Reginald. so sorry. So, I am so sorry. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> sorry you had to see that. But uh, I like to keep them clean. And I run a tight shift around here. So recently, we've had some problem with speeding in our parking lot. You know, people going through, driving real fast. See, this gentleman right here. He's driving a really good, nice, respectable speed. And then you got... What the uh, hell, man? People like you make me sick! Alright, so we're going to be going over some good parking examples and some poor parking examples today. When you park in the student parking lot, you want to make sure you leave plenty of room between yourself and the curb. And this, per this person has done a fine job of demonstrating that. They have They've left plenty of room between them and the curb, and they're not hanging out in the back. This person, while not hanging out in the front, they are outrageously over the curb. I mean, look at this. They up the tires, up against the curb. Surely, he can't be doing a whole lot more to ruin his tires, because he's running on a little tread as is. Clearly, spot 16 is keeping it clean. Some of the students here at Cedar Ridge are blessed with the opportunity to drive these fine vehicles here to your right and left. This is another prime example of a student who is fortunate enough to drive one of these fine vehicles. Others are not so fortunate. Monograms. On monograms. On monograms. On monograms. <laughs> on monograms. Alright, recently there's been some spottings of hooligans in the area. Oh crikey! What's this? There's two right here! Let's not get too close or else they'll attack. <laughs> so, I don't really know if you guys have noticed or anything, but somebody needs to call the exterminator because there are too many yellow bugs in this parking lot. And this one showed up the other day. This one's looking a little sick. I mean, clearly, it's an infestation. And this one's looking a little sickly. Now you see here, I've got my two nice white BMW X5s. I keep one here in this nice parking lot at all times because I do not know which one I want to drive at all times. So, when I don't feel like driving my lovely BMWs, I treat myself to this nice Audi A4. It's a lovely car, and uh, those are my cars. Cool. Some of the stuff you find in this parking lot is absolutely ridiculous. You done? It won't stop. <laughs> Go like this. How about the, uh, the, the, the knockoff knockoff? Yeah, they just call knockoff wheels. Why won't you stop? <laughs> 